How do we go about solving linear equations that have more than one step in them? Two steps or maybe even three. Now a linear equation uh, is an equation that has the highest index for any pronumeral equal to one, which is a fancy way of saying the uh, index or the exponent of any of the pronumerals can't be any bigger than one. So three x equals two is a linear equation because this is x to the power of one. 3x squared equals 2, however, is not linear because the power or the index for any of the pronumerals, in this case x, is more than 1. And in this case it's 2. So that is not linear. So let's look at an example of how we'd solve them. You might get a question like this one that says 3x plus 2 equals 11, solve for x. Now, where that sentence, solve for x, just means find out what value of x makes this equation true, okay? Because if I said x equals 10, that would be three times 10 is 30, plus two is 32, but that does not equal 11. So we're looking for a an x value that would make this all be correct. We've looked in a previous video about using the inverse or taking things out of an equation by applying the opposite to them. So that's exactly what we're gonna do here. Um, my goal is to get this x on its own. So one step I'm going to have to take is to get rid of this plus 2. The inverse of adding 2 or plus 2 is take 2. So I'm going to take 2 from both sides because in, in an equation you can do whatever you'd like to the equation as long as you do it equally to both sides. The reason I do that is this cancel each other's out. 2 and I take away 2 leaves me with 0. So now my equation becomes 3x on this side, because these are now gone, equals 11 minus 2, which is 9. This means 3 times x. Now the opposite of timesing by 3 is dividing by 3. The way we do that in an equation is as a fraction. So I'm dividing both sides by 3. The reason I do that is that these 3s will now cancel each other out, and I'm just left with the x x equals 9 over 3, which is 3, because 9 divided by 3 is 3. So we've solved for x. x equals 3. Let's look at another example. This has three steps in it. It's a little bit longer, but the process and the procedures are still exactly the same. In this case, we are going to start by getting rid of this negative 2, because my goal is to get this m here on its own. The opposite of Negative 2 is plus 2. So I'm going to add 2 to both sides. These will cancel out. And I'm left here with 3m equals. Now if I look at the other side, I've got my m still, so I haven't touched it. And this becomes plus 8, because 6 plus 2 is 8. Now let's try and get rid of this m, because I've got m's on both sides. So I'm going to get rid of this one. I've got an m, so to, to get rid of it, I take it away. So I'm going to take away m. Do the same to both sides. This side becomes 3m minus m, which gives me 2m. And I'm just left with the value of 8 on the right-hand side. 2m equals 8. This means 2 times m. So the opposite of dividing by 2 is dividing by 2. Do the same to both sides. The 2s cancel out. I'm left with m equals 8 over 2, or m equals 4. And that is how we go about solving linear equations that have two or more steps. Just apply the inverse to remove terms one by one till, <clears throat> till we get down to a value for our pronumeral. Well done. Now just before I finish, there is a very important way we can check that our answer was correct, and that is by substituting our value back into the equation to see that it actually works. So according to me, my m value should equal 4. So I'm just going to substitute 4 back into this equation to see if it all works. So our uh, method for substituting is replace the pronumerals with a space or a bracket, place our value into those spaces. Uh, so I'm left with 3 times 4 is 12. So 12 minus 2 equals 4 plus 6. 12 minus 2 is 10. So I'm left with 10 equals 10, which 
makes sense to me. So that is correct. 